Hey guys, myself Rakesh and I welcome you back to Expo Op channel. Today we are going to learn what is the difference between objects and variables. So this is a question when it comes to object, you know, many people will get confused to explain the difference between an object and a variable. So let's see. So we will start variable. Variable we have seen it, right? How a variable looks. For example, if you say x is equal to 1, that means x is a variable which contains a value called 1. So this is simply an instance of a memory which is holding a value, right? Of memory. So this is just an instance of a memory which is holding the value, isn't it? Now let's understand an object. So object means it's a real thing, right? A real thing. For example, let's start with the example called, let's say car. Car is an object. It's a thing, right? car is object. Now, anything in a programming language, when you call it as an object, it is a real thing. So, for example, if I take car as an object, this object will have certain properties. Remember that when it when when I say object, it will have two different things. One is property. It will have certain properties. What are properties? For example, color of the car, right, is a property. Length of the car, is a property right and then price of the car right and then uh, width of the car so all these are the properties associated with that object property what is the color it's a black color car it's a red color car length what is the width what is the price what is the brand brand name right so all this becomes a property of an object for example car an object will also have something called methods or you can call it as functions in programming language there are two different things a object will contain a property it will have its own properties and it will have set something called methods and functions what is methods and function for example function what a car ca car's function is to drive right it has a function called drive light it has a function called light right it has a function called sound it can horn it has a horn it has a function called speed uh, limit, right? What is the speed you want to drive? Uh, it has a function called gear. It has a function called uh, brake, right? So these are all different functions. Now for the object to work, it should have certain functions. It can drive, it should be, it has a light, it has a sound, it has a speed, it has a gearbox, which gear you want to put, it has a brake, it has a clutch. So this all this becomes functions of this object. Property means color, length, price. So you can differentiate what is a property and a function. So anything in a programming language which has a property and a function will be termed as an object. And a variable is very simple. It is just an instance of a memory holding a value. Now, let me give you examples of variables. For example, integer, right? And then you have string. These are all different variables, simple variables. Now, object examples I'll give you. For example, data table. So data table, it has a it has couple of properties and it has also has couple of functions associated associated with it. For example, array, list. So these are couple of examples of various data types, which you can when you create a variable with this data type, data table, array or list, that particular variable becomes an object because it will have certain properties and methods. So let me show you that in UAPA Studio. Okay, so here if you see, uh, I have created couple of simple a string variable b is an integer variable num array is a array variable data table is a data table so for example if we take dt1 as a data table variable now if you click on on a dot it will have certain properties for example uh, let me show you some interesting let's say columns it has a property it has a data table will have columns and then a data table will also have rows right these are all different properties if you look at namespace, prefix, uh, table name, right, name of the, so I told you the brand name, right, for a car, brand name becomes a property of that particular object. So similarly, if you can say table name, right, number of rows, right, number of wheels you have in a car, similar example. So anything, any, any variable which would have a property and also functions, for example, if I say rows, dt1.rows and I want to see how many rows it has got so i'm using a function if you look at this this is a read only property and with that i'm using a function called count 
so count is a function so what would happen this is going to count how many rows are there in that so anything any variable type or a data type which would have a property and a function associated with it so right so that becomes a that you can ref, that you can call it as a object so you can now you have understood which one you should call it as a variable which one you should call it as a object okay again you are creating everything in the same variable panel but again one becomes a object and one remains as a instance of a memory just to hold a value this all two becomes a instance of a memory just to hold a value and this all becomes a object which has its specific properties it has its specific functions right for example i will give you another example let's say array so array i can call it as a object so i am using this object num array and if you do not initialize it is going to throw you an error called object reference not set to instance of an object so that is because these are all objects so let me use this variable num array why is it not appearing so in the variable panel i have num array let's say num array yep and then if you hit on a dot right then you see these are all functions or methods functions or method means you are doing some kind of a work with it right as i uh, given you an example for the car it has a light it has a sound these are all functions similar way something you want to do it's a set of uh, code which will like counting what is the length right num array dot length if i use length right uh, so this is a this becomes a property but uh, anything which has has a symbol like this right join of you want to Yeah. so all this becomes a these are these are all properties and all these options are known as functions or methods functions or methods is nothing but it has a set of code predefined codes which will do certain work for you it will do some kind of a function for you like counting um set value uh, some these are all different functions it will do some kind of a output for you output is nothing but a function right some output like the car is driving so that is the output you are turning on the light so there is a output so similar kind of actions will be known as functions and methods are very strict strictly the property of that particular object getting it so with this example i hope you must have a clear idea uh, to differentiate between a object and a variable and also you got to know what are the um, for example length okay let me show you so the length becomes the property what is the length of that length of the car i told you no Uh, length of the car so this becomes a property and now i am going to say uh, some i am using some functions uh, compare with i want to compare this length with something else so this becomes a function getting it and methods and functions right a object will have two different things property and its associated methods and functions a variable is very simple it's an instance of memory instance of a memory which contains some value that's all okay so with this example i am pretty sure you must have got a clear understanding between and you can differentiate between a object and a variable so thank you guys for watching it you guys have a wonderful day we are going to come up with more such conceptual knowledge for you and to help you improve your knowledge on uipath thank you guys take care we are going to meet in the next video bye bye